Good morning. Welcome to Garden Friends. I'm Andrea here in Tampa, Florida. It's early November and I am here with my Florida Cranberry. Now, um, quick disclaimer, its official name is like Roselle. It's in the hibiscus family. It's very similar, especially if you get a good look at the flower. It's real similar to okra. Now these are actually called a calyx. That's the fruit that you're gonna, gonna be picking. So here's the thing. It is an annual. In the fall, it'll start to make these tiny, tiny little blossoms. They're going to open up one day, like that with a flower. The flower lasts a day, and then it is going to shrivel up, and it'll fall off on its own. And here is one that is shriveling up right there. That is gonna fall off and what is left here will continue to get nice and plump. Look at that one right there. He's a good size. The one down there is even a little bit nicer. Um, and I'll come through here every few days. I come through with a pair of tiny little scissors and I will cut them off right, right there. Sometimes they've got new little blossoms that are poking out next to them. So I'm really careful not to disturb those. But if you look at all these little blossoms here, they are all gonna turn into fruit. Now, last year I planted too many. I had way too many to deal with. And the way that I harvested them was to just come down, cut my branches, and then sit and pick off the ones that were ready to be harvested. And then somebody who saw my video suggested that I leave the branches because they would continue to grow and bloom and produce for me well into December. So this year I didn't plant as many and I planted them in some different locations just to see where the best spot was. Because the one drawback I have found with these is they whip around. These branches are kind of weak. They whip around in the storms and you'll see that I've got him propped up there with a pot. Um, and he's kind of leaning because we do get some really strong winds. We get it, you know, throughout, throughout the summer. It doesn't even have to be a tropical storm or a hurricane. And we did have a couple of those come through. This one made it okay once I propped him back up and put a pot under him. Now, I don't know if you can see what I can see, but there's a lot of tiny little black ants crawling around. My calyxes, there you go. I think they're just very attracted to that rotting flower. They're not eating into the fruit. I've been harvesting them. I just sort of knock them off and they're okay. Rinse them off real well before I process them. And I'll go inside, I'll remove the bottom part, which is the seed, and peel the leaves. You can use them right away. There's different recipes that you can make with them. I freeze them in gallon bags and then I've got them to use throughout the year. I just finished up the last of last year's harvest about a month ago. So they lasted me throughout the year. We've made cranberry sauce. I put them into smoothies. They're very nutritious. And <laughs> there's a bunch of little ants crawling around over there. So I am very excited that I found this. It's super easy to grow. I bought my first seeds. After that, I just used the seeds that this makes because if you do not pull these off, it is going to give you many, many, many little seeds inside those seed pods. And I was able to share them with a lot of friends this year. And they're just, it's just awesome. It's an amazing plant here in Florida. It's beautiful. You could grow it just for the pretty flowers, the interesting color on the stalks and the fruit. It's, it's an awesome plant. And I think that every Florida garden should have some. Um, it does need a lot of sun and you will have to, you know, be kind of supportive when the storms come. But other than that, I have no complaints about this plant. I think it's awesome and it's something that I'm looking forward to every year to be able to plant and watch this grow. So thank you for watching. If you now love the Florida Cranberry as much as I do, uh, hit that little like button, send me some comments, subscribe. It's always nice to hear from new friends and you get out in your garden and grow you some Florida Cranberry.